This is Honda Derek at Jermaine Honda of Dublin, and this is your 2021 CRV EX Hybrid. So a nice hybrid badging there. Of course, when you touch the underside of the handle, it's going to unlock for you. That can be just the driver's door or all four doors. We'll go over that in vehicle settings. As you'll come in, you'll notice that you do have seat memory. So when key fob number one, um, the, that person holding that touches the underside of the handle, the seat's going to adjust for them. And then, of course, key fob number two, it would adjust for them. So um, something that you would find on the EXL trim level, but on a hybrid EX, you have that luxury. All right, a little bit different display on a hybrid. Um, it's gonna let you know your battery power right here on the left, your fuel on the right, and then how the charge is going right up through here. Um, as you're moving along, you're gonna see that the power drives. Here, let me do that. Go. Excellent, so as we move forward, we can see that I'm using the energy. Then as I'm braking, it recharges the battery so you can kind of see what's going on with the battery and how you're using it whether you're using a power from your electric motor whether you're stepping on a little harder and getting the engine to kick in um, because you're asking for horsepower but no matter what you're going to notice that you have torque Honda's known for having downward torque so when you step on the pedal it's going to get it up and out the way so there's no um no lack of power here let's put us back in park it's going to be a push button transmission push button transmissions are much smoother um i find that i really like them it's a better use of the space as well i'm speaking of use of space your parking brakes now little pull it back to set it and then push your regular brake and there you go your other buttons down here you have sport mode well sport mode up here you know right now nothing's no modes are on as i'm driving economically my bezel turns green at the top there but if I turn on sport mode, well then the bezeling turns red and the engine automatically kicks on. This is pretty much saying as a driver telling the car, hey, I'm gonna ask for a horsepower, I'm gonna ask for it a couple times, I want you to be ready. Um, so the engine doesn't have to just kick in, it's already there, all right? Also, also a good way to charge up your battery all the way, full, um, because in sport mode, the engine's running, so it's just charging the battery. Now, if I click that back off, you hear the engine clicks off. And hit econ here i'm gonna hit the econ mode and puts the green tree up on the screen um, this is going to slave you into being economical most people um, just kind of step on the accelerator too hard and that's where they lose their economy so this is going to make it a little less sensitive on the accelerator and uh, change the shift points in your transmission and make it a little bit easier to uh, get the maximum range All right. now of course regular mode and then oh ev well ev just means you've got enough power well ev mode is okay and it goes ahead and says EV mode's on. Now, it means you're not going to ask for too much horsepower. You're going to make a quick run around the corner. It's going to be like a mile away. You're just going to shoot up to the Giant Eagle. You're going to go over to the Fresh Time real quick. Um, you're going to run through Starbucks, and then you're going to come right back home. Um, it's going to try to do that fully on just battery juice, and, uh, and that's a good thing. So that's going to increase your range. You'd be surprised. If you get this right, you're looking at a city range of about 40 miles per gallon. So um, it's one of those things where it's going to take a little bit of time. You have to learn your deceleration selectors. What well, look like slap shifters right here. As you're, you know, it has regenerative braking because it's a hybrid. So as you come to a brake, it's charging that battery, and you'll see it go into charge. But it's uh, it's storing up that power. It's using that kinetic energy and putting it back into the battery. Well, if you can see you're coming up on a, a bunch of traffic to stop up there, but you're going to coast for a while, you can add a little bit of drag, add a little bit more drag, add a little bit more drag, and the chevrons pop up. As you get good at doing that and then you step into your brake, you're getting that maximum charge from that kinetic energy because you're just using it smartly. And so as you're doing this and you're getting better at it and better, you'll notice your better fuel economy. And also when you turn off the vehicle, it's going to pop up your eco score. These little green leaf grading systems are going to let you know how you're doing, how you're coming and, and, and how well you are. Um, so it's a great thing. We're uh, definitely lowering the footprint there. And it's a beautiful vehicle and CRV quality. Of course, you have Honda Sensing. You also have Adaptive Cruise Control, Lane Keep Assist, the parts of Honda Sensing that you uh, interface with. A Honda Sensing, if you come up on a car or an object too fast, it's gonna say brake, brake, brake in the screen. If you don't hit your brakes, it's going to to mitigate that crash. 
If you cross a lane without using your turn signal, it's going to give you a lane to partial wiggle, bump you back in your lane. Um, if you're going to cross off the road like you're incapacitated, falling asleep, had a heart attack or a sugar attack, um, it's going to call a road departure. And if you don't do something, it's going to hit its brakes. So if EMS can find you on the side of the road. All right, and it's going to handle everything, including your brights. Your brights are automatically going to come up in a low light situation. If a car is coming, they're automatically going to lower. And then once the car passes, they're automatically going to come up again. So we've got you covered there too as well. Three-step backup camera, reach in, pull back for the R. It's a little bit different when it's push button, but you will get used to it. There's your Honda Link display. It's going to have your three-step backup camera with a wide view. So you can see people, say, walking down a sidewalk with a normal view where people would just walk into frame and with a downward view. Downward view is great because you can actually see your bumper. This way you can back up the trash cans, garage doors, other cars without actually tapping anything. In any one of these modes, if a car is coming from 35 yards uh, left or right, say you're backing out of a fresh time or Kroger parking lot, you ran around the corner in EV mode and you're backing out, someone's flying down the aisle. Big orange arrows are going to come up and go beep, 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 beep to let you know to let them pass from either direction they may be coming. So we've got you covered with safety there too as well. All right. Around the vehicle CRV quality. So we're going to have double sills on the doors. Inner sill and outer sill on the doors. We want to make sure to keep water out this middle situation. With Honda, we have our high resale residual and trade-in values. We want to keep them so there's no seams or welds in door jams. All right. In the back, CRV quality again, 90 degree angle on the door open. So you can fit things like bicycles, flat screen TVs, or car seats in without any bruising of the arms. All right. Back area is spacious. Capless fuel fill, yes, it will unlock from the inside cab. There is no cap, just regular gasoline. Uh, plug and play. Soft switch underneath the H and above the license plate. Home Depot hates when you underneath the H and above the license plate. And it just pops open. This is a large area. Yes, it comes with the blind. It's easy to use. It's just meant to keep out prying eyes, especially uh, around Christmas time. Everything's spring loaded and easy to do with one hand, very light. All right. Uh, seats flip down. Of course, I've got my seat belts. Now, this shoulder strap does uh, stow in the ceiling when you're not using it. If you don't help, oh, because you're not always going to have five passengers, you're probably going to have four most of the time. So that stows in the ceiling to be out the way. But the seats will just fall forward and give you plenty of room. And let me click those seat belts. Excellent. So just best in class space. Lots of grocery bags fit in there. Three bells of hay could fit in there. Underneath, roadside kit, fuel fuel funnel, just in case you have to defeat those uh, capless flaps. And if you any if you do ever have a problem where you need roadside assistance, it's three years, thirty six thousand mile bumper to bumper warranty. Also comes with a three year roadside assistance package so just call the 800 number that's on the inside of the vehicle and we'll come save you like AAA. all right hybrid badging and that's just letting me know the vehicle the key has left the vehicle you can see the led tail lights the led headlights and the led turn and tension signals all from the side view this just reduces T-bone accidents. Like I said, Honda's always worried about safety. And with your moon roof and cold weather features, this vehicle is absolutely stunning. So your cold weather features, your heated seats, right there. And it is a, a low high and oh my gosh. They do get warm. But your cold weather features um, that. Your heated outside mirrors, front and rear defroster will all come on if you precondition the vehicle um, and it's below 41 degrees. If it's above 41 degrees, then it sets it to 75, so it's nice and cool when you get in. So once again, Honda quality, we've been thoughtful, practical, elegant, and now resourceful in saving the environment. Alrighty, that's your 2021 CRV Hybrid EX. 
This is Honda Derek at Jermaine Honda of Dublin. Hope to see you soon.